good morning from a very busy Edinburgh. As soon as I can get in my car, we will talk. Ooh, it is so busy. It is just past 10am in Edinburgh. It is a gorgeous day. Um, but in this video, we're not spending time in Edinburgh. However, I do live here, so we are naturally starting there. Let me get set up and then we shall chat. Wait, is that your audio or is that my audio? Hi, it's Future Jack here. Um, unfortunately, it is my audio. Do you remember in my last video when my camera done this? Yes, um, unfortunately, I must have damaged the mic. The good news is not all of the audio in this, uh, this film, this trip was lost. I'm going to narrate over the bits that are and fill in the story with my narration. So apologies for that, but back to the movie. Let's go. So we are heading to Ben Lor's Dam today, somewhere we've actually been before on this channel, but I've been desperate to go back and today I am. Also, so the rest of this video makes sense. In this clip, I was touching on my last few weeks and lack of trips and well, as some of you know, I am currently unemployed after being made redundant last year and unfortunately, it's time to get a job again, which sucks because the only job I want is to make these videos full time. But until I can make that happen, I do need to make money. Also, a massive key pillar to my mental state is my physical health and keeping fit. And honestly, it's just not something I've been doing in the last few months. So in the last few weeks, I've dragged my ass to the gym and I'm feeling so much better. Anyway, more on this later, back to the audio. There's a reason this is one of my favorite ever camping locations because it is stunning. I mean, absolutely insanely beautiful. Right, wow. I think if it was snowing, I genuinely couldn't do this because the roads are horrid. Oh, oh God, that does not sound good. Ugh. Right, I am here, but I'm gonna find a good place to park. Somewhere level. Oh, bad news is I don't have any cell service. Ooh, that is not good news at all. Okay, let's get out the van. Oh, wow, stunning. Come on, Mila, let's go. <sighs> and this is where we are. Ben Lord's Dam. Wow, how pretty is this location? This is exactly why I wanted to come back here because I just remember it being such a pretty place and I really did. I've been desperate to come back here for so long and I'm so glad I have. It is just stunning. The sheer power of that water is both amazing and it does something to my body. I don't know what, but it's also terrifying as well. Mila, come here. I don't want to bring the tone down of this video, but it's a serious sort of thing as well. So I was Googling Ben Lors Dam a few days ago just to make sure this is what it was called and this is where I'm coming to. And there was a, a news article um, from May 2023, so like three months, three, four months after, um, actually only a few months after I was last here, March 2023, and the headline was um, two men, die one, one man dies and another one gets into trouble um, in Benlor's Dam, so exactly right here, a few months after I was here, 
Um, sadly, a, um, a person died, a man died. Um, there was two guys um, that were in the water and one managed to sort of survive, the other unfortunately never. But um, that was only a few months after I was here. The article didn't really go into more detail in terms of how they actually died other than he, you know, he obviously drowned. But um, it just goes to show, man, like this water right here, like this part looks so calm. If you look here, I even spoke about paddle boarding here last time. But I don't think you should ever take any body of water into consideration without pure caution. Mila, you got your snazzy green jumper on. You got your snazzy green jumper on, girl. <laughs> Anyway, I've had no food today, so I'm gonna go make myself some uh, brunch. And uh, yeah, after I've had this call, I'm gonna go along the dam and explore that a little bit more. But right now, I think it's time just to warm up and get some food in me belly. Mila, don't go too far. I'm expecting a call in 10 minutes. Um, we're making some avocado toast and all is going on right now, it seems. People send out invites for um, interviews, mm -hmm. um, ideally in person at our office, but you know, if you're aware of something, we can set up something on Teams. Okay, job interview done, which I felt went quite well, so we'll see about that. But here I was speaking about the importance of liking videos and subscribing, as it's the only way to help small YouTubers like me or anyone else grow. So please, pause this, have you liked my video, have you subscribed? If not, please do, you little rascalian. But in all seriousness, it really does help us. So I know YouTubers beg a lot for likes and subscribers, but it's honestly, it's so important. Another important thing I have launched is my YouTube members option on my channel. And that's to enable people to help support me further financially if they are so inclined. It is 100% optional and will in no way change anything that currently exists on my channel so my videos will always be free to watch but it's a way to support me and in return for different tiers i'm going to start offering behind the scenes videos more intimate q a's and much much more go to my channel and see the options available if you would like to see further anyway as mentioned this is 1000 percent optional and only if you want to big shout out to marsha who is my first ever member thank you so much from the bottom of my heart Anyway, back to the audio. <laughs> we are so wet. I kind of want to just finish up on what I was saying about obviously the the employment, but obviously the title of this video is uh, is somewhat dramatic. But um, I was also thinking, you know, seriously thinking, and I still do think about essentially becoming homeless and living in my van. Um, I think that's a realistic thing that's going to happen at some point, and it's kind of what I want to do. It's the dream, um, but. Just right now isn't the right time for a lot of reasons, a lot that I won't go into right now, but um, it will happen, you know. And you know, if I don't get a job, it's going to happen <laughs> without my choice. I'm going to have to live in my van because I'm going to have nowhere else to live. Um, currently, I live, I mean, technically, I live part time in my van, part time in a flat as well um, in Edinburgh. Um, but who knows? I probably will have to become homeless very soon if I don't get a job because that redundancy money is, uh, is running out quite fast. <laughs> Honestly, I travelled all over the the north coast of Scotland and it's some stunning, like Skye is probably the most stunning place I've ever seen. But this specific location does it for me. I think it has everything, you know, it has the body of water, which water absolutely mellows my soul out big time, not to get too cheesy, but it really does. The noise of the flow of the waterfall or whatever you would call that, and then the absolute 
stunning mountains in the background. It's just perfect and I know I'm going to come back here a third time and a fourth time because it's just one of my favourite places. Don't know what I would do if it was open, <laughs> but I'd have a look, you know. I remember now why I said I was going to come back here because the previous time I was here, I was like, this would be an awesome place to wild camp because look, now we're onto grass, although it's extremely wet. This would be a great place to wild camp, right at the bottom of these mountains. Although, and I've mentioned before, while camping in a tent isn't really up my, you know, street in terms of my favourite things to do, definitely still something I want to try, you know, because I haven't done it for so long, who knows, maybe it is something I will really enjoy. But I just think, like, look down there, right down there, there's some good spots for some wild camping down there. You can also see way way in the distance is my little van so far away i have been sat here honestly for like the last hour hour and a half since that last shot just doing nothing just listening to the world honestly the waterfall or the you know water over there um it's like nature's own white noise it's honestly setting me to sleep i'm so sleepy listening to it but just what a view i mean look at this this is exactly what i pictured when, when i bought this van it's just moments like this and it's actually giving me ideas on what i want to do to my van with the next build, but oh, it's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. The day, the day, look at that. This is, <laughs> it just looks so bad. I can't wait to get this done properly. Um, but I can't, honestly, it's just so perfect. The weather's been stunning. It's 5 p.m. and it's still light outside. It's just been a great day. Hello there, it is 6.30, no, it's actually nearly 6.40 p.m. And uh, I had a nice little one hour nap, made me feel good. Um, and I'm gonna get into something a little bit more comfortable and take these jeans off. And then we're going to make dinner. Unfortunately, before I wasn't getting like, I was getting one bar of cell service at best, and now it just says SOS on it. So I'm getting nothing now. Right, so we need, Le sauce pan, sauce pie, sauce pie. Uh, I'm definitely going to get my old hob back if I can find it, because I hate this thing with a passion. Right, anyway, enough of that moaning. We're not moaning on here. Yeah. Boom. So, we're having something called manti. Um, it's a Turkish dish. We're having a play on, should, I should say, we're having a play on this Turkish dish called Turkish Manti, um, which is just like lentils, uh, some yogurt sauce, um, tomato um, sauce, and uh, pasta, essentially. I'm sure the Turks, if they're watching this, are going to... Honestly, if you're Turkish, probably don't watch this cooking part, because you're going to hate me for it. Um, but I'm having a play on Manti. It's not exactly Turkish Manti. Um, I've never actually done this before, but the last time I cooked onions on the last trip, my van was absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to open this side door right now. See, in the summer, it would still be daylight when I'm cooking dinner. So this is going to be the norm, really. And because it's actually quite mild tonight, there isn't any wind yet. I'm so... Is that an airplane? I think so. It's um, it's really dark out here. So yeah, I can't really show you anything, but what I could do is this actually, so I can kind of see out here as well. 
I don't know, I think it's quite, quite cool. I thought that was cumin. It's not Meg. Ah! Fuck! It's got nutmeg in it. It's not supposed to have nutmeg in it. No. No. That's going to taste so weird. Fuck. I don't think I have cumin. I thought I had cumin. Turmeric. Garlic. Herbs. No. Damn, it was not mega hide, not cumin. Shit. All right, as the kids say, we are cooking. Quite literally. I would have to say one of my one of my toxic traits is always, well not always, but a lot of the time, especially on these trips, just estimating what two tablespoons is, 50 grams is. I'm like, eh, that looks about right. Um, and then um, wondering why it doesn't taste the way it probably should. Definitely my toxic trait. See when our recipe says like add two cloves of garlic, do you always like maybe add three or four? You know I always add like two or three more cloves of garlic than what the recipe says because I just love garlic. It's like one of my favourites. The good news also is I actually bought a bowl. Um, it's got a little love heart and everything on it. But we actually have a bowl to eat from today, which is, you know, a real treat in its own. So, happy days. This is just going to be amazing. This is going to be far too much food for one person. It always is with me. I, I never really cook accordingly. Where's the... And that is our sauce done. So we're just going to pour that. All over like that. And lastly, um, we are going to... What is this gram wise? 500 grams, so about a third, give or take, maybe just under. We're going to make a little garlic um, yogurt vibe. We're going to add our garlic in here, just straight in. Lemon juice in here. And we're going to add some salt. And we're going to a good stir. And this is my Turkish manti. Hopefully the nutmeg doesn't overpower anything. Mmm. That is so good. I can slightly taste the nutmeg, but it definitely doesn't overpower it. This might be one of the best car camping meals I've ever made. It's so good. Mmm. That is so tasty, I'm so happy with myself. The harsh reality of cooking like this is that I now have to clean all these red tomato steak dishes. I mean, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I have to clean all of this with kitchen roll and wipes. <laughs> it's not fun. And it's the probably the part that you don't see when I do all this cooking um, or people just cooking you know, in general. I don't have a sink to wash all this, so it is not fun. I'm not gonna bore you showing, me, showing you it, but I'm going to use this kitchen roll and these wipes up here to clean all of this. So, with the magic of editing... Oh, what? You thought I couldn't do romantic? Okay, that gives a little bit of flight. Um, I mean, romantic for me and my dog. But she's worth it. She's had her peas, her poos, she's had her treats, she's a happy... 
a happy dog, ready for bed. That wasn't so bad cleaning up really, it wasn't as bad as it looked, it was, it took me like 10 minutes, give or take, 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's it's now relax time, I've got the candle going, I know the people who like are proper concerned about like health and safety and, and fires and stuff are probably freaking out, I have a gas heater and the candle on inside my van, but I promise you, the heater's only on for like 5 minutes to warm up the van. And uh, in the candle, it's in a little glass jar. It's gonna get put off soon. It's just for, you know, vibes. Don't worry, but I appreciate all the concern. Then I'm gonna get cozy. I'm going to uh, open up the candle and just chill, basically. That was a great evening, great meal. I just feel so whole right now. Um, and feel very, very amazing. So that's exactly what the, why I come on these trips. The, the outdoors does it for me, man. It really does. It just makes me feel like a proper human being amongst all the shit going on in the world right now camping or van life or whatever you want to call it is it just resets me and the noise of that water is just like not it's just like pink noise white noise and it's just going to make me sleep like a baby tonight i can hear it right now it's like a rumble you know like a vibration so good Good morning, sleepyhead. Look at him. Look how rough he looks in the morning. <laughs> anyway, here's me telling you it's freezing in here and I need to get this bloody heater on. Here's me trying to look intelligent with my cup of coffee that I couldn't drink because it was so hot and reading my Kindle. And then back to the audio. Hello. Okay, it's now 7.37am. <laughs> There is light now outside, which is great. It still seems quite foggy, but we're soon going to find out. Oh, yes. Oh, it's like drizzly. Well, I'm glad I, I'm glad I got the drone shots last night because <laughs> there's not much to it this morning. Ah. Uh. Oh, that looks so foggy. Does not look good. It is uh it's rather dreary this morning. But I'm not really gonna waste much time. Uh the audio's gone again. Anyway, this is near the end of the video. So I basically just packed up for this trip. Here is me examining this really dodgy bit of the road, just making sure that I'm going to be able to get up this safely. And for the final time, back to the audio. Right. Oh no. Uh. Come on. Oh no, I'm going to We're out! Woo! That was a little bit nerve-wracking because the wheel just did spin a little bit. Right, I'm gonna go and park just for a second. Right, back to actual tarmac. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Right. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure as always. I think this is a good time to end the video here. I'm gonna head to my parents' house, see my parents, see the family. Um, obviously the next few weeks are gonna be interesting. I'm actually going on a, a few other road trips next week. Um, yeah, stick with me. Um, like I said, just because I'm gonna to have to go back into employment doesn't mean these videos stop at all. Um, that is definitely not the case. You know, they're only going to get more and more and more. I'm going to work harder so I can be doing this full time. And I have such big trips planned across all over the world with this van and travel. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a blast. Have a great day, wherever you are in the world. 
and I will see you very soon with another video. Goodbye.